What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about the Nintendo NX, codename NX, Nintendo's new next gen, current gen mobile device that is on the horizon. March 2017 is right around the corner. That's my birthday month and uh, I'm excited for this. Believe it or not, there's been a lot of rumor going around and more and more news outlets are reporting that this rumor is actually founded in quite a bit of fact. Eurogamer, Digital Foundry, a lot of these uh, news outlets have come out with more and more information about Nintendo's upcoming uh, console project, handheld project, whatever you want to call it, the Nintendo NX. So here's what I'm hearing about this thing. The Nintendo NX is a portable device. It's a handheld device that you carry around with you. You can play games on it. It has a screen on it. It has a, a controller. There's actually two controllers built into the portable device. There's going to be a controller on each side of the screen. And from what they're saying, this at least this is what the dev kits are. This thing is built on NVIDIA's mobile Tegra 1X technology, which is, from what I'm seeing, pretty damn sound. The uh, NVIDIA Shield actually uses it. And for all intents and purposes, this thing is more powerful than the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. They've got lots of different ports going to the NVIDIA Shield that are outperforming the seven generation consoles. And so what people are speculating is this thing isn't gonna be as powerful as the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, definitely not as powerful as the 4K or uh, Project Scorpio. But from what people are hearing, or at least what people are speculating, being that the dev kits have Integra 1X technology, uh, it's going to be more powerful than the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. So imagine, let's just say for instance, this happens to be true. Uh, the Nintendo NX comes out and it outperforms the PS3 and the Xbox 360 and the Wii U. It, it actually will be more powerful than the Wii U. Uh, the games look better, they run smoother, higher frame rate, and it's on a mobile device. The mobile device, you take it around with you, you get on the bus, you go over to your cousin's house, you're showing him games on there that look console quality. You know, these games are not going to look like the mobile games that we're used to at this point. Uh, you're playing console quality games. Who knows? Possibly ports of games that are coming out on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One uh, on your Nintendo NX or whatever they call it. I think they should call it the new boy. Uh, but also, when you're playing, you take this thing with you. You go in places. You meet up with your buddies. You take the controllers off the screen. The screen stands up on its own, has maybe a stand on the back of it. And you hand them one controller, you have the other, and it has onboard multiplayer functionality. So you don't need any extra controllers. Out of the box, you're going to be able to uh, take this thing on the go, play your games on the go, and be able to play with other people on a, for the first time probably ever, a console quality handheld. Not only that, this thing also supports uh, conventional connections for your television so what it has is a docking station if, if you're done playing it on the mobile and you want to play it maybe on your 60 inch you take the new boy and you put it in the dock and all of a sudden you're playing this game that you were playing on the go on your television so it's seamless integration uh i i really like that idea i i and see the thing is nintendo always finds a way to change the game they always do uh and i think they failed probably more spectacularly with the wii u than anything else but, you know, with the Wii, they changed the game. They changed the game with the, the Nintendo uh, Game Boy Advance. They changed it with the Game Boy 64. They changed it. And it looks like they're really going to try to change it again here with the Nintendo NX. Now, this is what I like about this whole idea. I love portable gaming. I've always been a portable gamer, but as of late, I've kind of drifted away from them. I don't play my 3DS hardly at all anymore. I don't play my, my PlayStation Vita at all. I've got tons of other handhelds. And, and part of the reason is I don't play these on the go because I like console experiences. Uh, why play Golden Abyss on my Vita when I can play Uncharted 4 on my PS4? Why play you know a Mario game on my 3DS when I can play it on the Wii U and I'll get a better experience? That's really the only thing that has kind of pushed me away from the mobile experience. I enjoy the mobile experience, but as an adult, the older you get, the less opportunities you have to sit and play mobile games. So for me now, especially going to work, sitting in my office, if I have a little downtime, I'll pull out my iPad, I'll watch a video, you know, maybe play a little bit of uh, Slither IO or something because most games on the go don't stand up to what we consider console experiences. If Nintendo changes that whole paradigm, if it shifts and the Nintendo NX or whatever this thing is called, the new boy, is truly a console experience on the go, that's gonna be the first time anybody sees that. 
Not only that, there's lots of speculation that this thing is going to be priced to sell. It's not going to be extremely expensive. Now, if this thing comes out and it's an insanely powerful, I'm talking more powerful than PlayStation Vita, all that stuff, very powerful handheld, beautiful screen, two controllers, which gives you the opportunity to play with people, has a docking station for you to connect to your TV, and it's like 200 bucks. everybody's going to buy this thing. If Nintendo somehow implements a system of backwards compatibility, which I believe they are, because everybody follows suit. Once you see something as a winning formula, everybody adapts it. Xbox Live was first. They gave people something special. People were able to play online. Sony created the PlayStation Network for free, and, and then later they uh, created PlayStation Plus, and, which allowed people to get something for free as well as be able to play online. Nintendo has always been the one kind of left out in the cold when it comes to the online infrastructure. What if Nintendo creates like this new Nintendo service where you're paying $49 a year or $10 or $15 a month, whatever they're going to charge. And instead of getting two games a month, you get access to all of Nintendo's old games. You get access to Super Nintendo, the original NES, Wii games. You get access to Game Boy Advance games. You get access to GameCube games. You get access to some Wii games for this $49 a year uh, premium. What if that is part of this whole selling point? That you can pay $49 and you have an instant back backlog of, you know, two or 3,000 games. What the hell are you going to do then? Who's not going to buy it? I really enjoy the idea of, I, I'm just more intrigued now to see if this thing actually has the Tegra 1X chip or the new Tegra 2X chip. So for me, there's lots of opportunities for this Nintendo new boy or <laughs> Nintendo uh, NX to be very, very successful. Uh, there's a lot of speculation that the Tegra 1X chip is actually being used as a placeholder for the dev kits, for developers to actually use so they can kind of get an idea of what they're going to be doing on it. And they're actually going to use the uh, Tegra X2 chip, which is coming out very soon, which is going to supersede the 1X in power and scope and in pretty much every department. So it might be, even be more powerful than what they're speculating at this point. Uh, I'm excited about this, guys. I really am. You know, I want Nintendo to be great. If they're not going to go head to head with Sony and Microsoft, maybe they can carve out their own niche and, and do something great in their own way. I think that this whole idea of a, mo a new mobile offering, Nintendo is the king of mobile, they, and, and also the Nintendo NX will uh, also support their mobile games as well. So they're finding a way to implement more and more Nintendo into this new console, this new handheld. I don't think Nintendo has to necessarily go against PlayStation or Xbox to become relevant again, or even possibly win. If this thing is priced to sell, if they release this thing at $199, bam, everybody's going to buy it. If they also give you this option to opt into the Nintendo network and somehow you have a backlog of all these old Nintendo games, that's a huge selling point as well. If we are able to hold a handheld in our hand, and actually have a console worthy experience that feels like a console and plays like a console in the palm of your hands and then your buddy comes over and sits down and checks out what are you playing and you pop off the side of the damn thing and hand it to him and say here play with me that's a huge huge draw for a gamer to me that's huge it's insane i mean there'll be no need to pack up my playstation 4 or my xbox if the nintendo nx gets ports of games from these systems and all i gotta do i can take it in the form of a handheld and if people want to play with me, I can just pop off the side of it and they can play like that. That's going to be nuts. Imagine road trips. You got the NX in the car. You know, your wife is playing like this. This will be my story because my wife doesn't drive if I'm alive. She'll be in the passenger side having a console worthy experience and people can play with it. That's going to be insane. I think it's really, really awesome. I'm more excited now to find out because, you know, time is getting shorter and shorter up until March. You know, we got Tokyo Game Show coming up very, very soon. Nintendo's got to either put up or shut up in this situation. The Nintendo NX, I hope it's awesome. It sounds like it's going to be really, really interesting to see nonetheless. I want to see if this thing is able to give us console quality gaming experiences on the go. If that's the case and they offer that, then I'm in. Nintendo has pretty much been the king of the handheld gaming space. Nobody's been able to compete with them and that's something they've done right for years. This is more than likely the evolution of the handheld division. I think it's going to work out pretty well if any of these leaks are actually true. And it sounds like a lot of them are. So, again, we have a handheld system with a screen with two controllers that disconnect from the screen for two-player local play. 
You're also able to plug this thing into a docking station and it's powered by the NVIDIA Tegra 1X or possibly 2X technology. I'm excited about this. I really, really, really want to know what you guys think about it. If this thing isn't as powerful as the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One but still gives you console quality play and you're able to take it on the go, you can't take your PS4 with you on the bus. You can't take your Xbox One you know, on a road trip. It's underneath the seat or in the trunk. If you're able to play this thing on the go and have a console quality experience, will that matter to you? Or is this just not what you wanted Nintendo to do? Did you want Nintendo to pull out you know, all the stops and, and create a system that's built on hardware to compete directly with PlayStation and Xbox? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to give a thumbs up, guys. Show support for the Beastly Gamer channel. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter and tell all your peeps about the Beast. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.